Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a trading tutorial because there's not a lot to update on the markets. Uh, so the trends basically for Bitcoin er, and other altcoins uh, haven't changed. So if you want to see price predictions, you can go ahead and watch my the few last videos that I have been uploading and there has not been any change in any in any of the trends. So <clears throat> I'm going to use this video to make a tutorial and this tutorial is because it's uh, going to be called trading setups. Uh, and basically the main uh, message for this video, it's not it's not that I'm going to go into a lot of detail for the different setups. I'm going to just give a quick overview of them. But the main teaching here is that you should uh, pick one or two the most and of course, learn all of them, learn as many as you can, so that then you're going to have the ability to choose which one suit, uh, suits you better in terms of your own personality and your own risk tolerance. So, but basically, uh, what most people do, if you, most people that it's not very experienced in trading, they would try to use all the setups that they can find because they think if they know everything, they're going to have more probability of winning trades. But this is usually the opposite. So usually when you try to be an expert in everything, you're going to end up not knowing nothing about anything. So it's proven that the more specific you get and the, and the more simple your setup is, the bigger is going to be your success rate. So the important thing here is that you know how they all work and then you pick one, uh, the one that you like the best, the one that you have more fun executing, the one that suits you better for your personality and you become a master of this specific setup and you never break the rules for this setup and you ignore the rest. If you uh, are able to do that, you're going to see an increase, on, on, an increase in your winning trades. There's more than these five setups for trading. I'm not going to cover every single setup in the world. I'm only covering these five. But if you want to know more different setups, you can go to Google and just do a search for uh, different trading setups and you will see there's more than this. But for this video, I'm just going to leave it in these five different setups. But uh, yeah, remember that the point of this video is not to teach you know, the technique in detail for each setup. The main point of this tutorial is to, is to uh, show how if you become a master in only one of them, you're going to do a lot better than if you try to use them all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with this one, Impulse and Retrace, which is the one that I use the most personally. For this setup, you're going to need to use uh, trend lines, support and resistance lines, uh, moving averages and Fibonacci tools. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do a very very quick overview. Not gonna go into detail a lot, but I'm gonna give you resources so that you can learn this technique uh, in more detail. So first, you start draw, drawing a few uh, trend lines here. I, I mean support and resistance lines. Okay, that should be enough. And uh, so the idea of this uh, trading setup, it's called impulse and retrace because you want to buy when it's impulsing or at the moment when it's going to when it's going to start impulsing and then you want to sell before it retraces. Uh, in other words, you buy when it's bouncing, when it's starting to bounce and you sell before it goes down. So uh, for this example, say, for example, you want to buy when it's uh, bouncing on a moving average and at the same time it's bouncing on a support line. You usually want to have double confirmation. So here we have one entry. So see how the price has been going up and then it comes down and it touches moving average and at the same time a uh, support line here and then it impulses up and then it retraces. So if you enter here, how do you know where you want to sell? Well, for this, we use the Fibonacci extension tool plus support and resistance lines. So for the um, Fibonacci extension tool is here. So you would use it in the previous wave. So this is point A in the previous wave, point A, point, point B, and point C. 
at the bottom of the wave okay so if you enter it here your uh, target for taking profit should be uh, on a Fibonacci line and at the same time on a uh, resistance line as well so you have double resistance there and it's going to be uh, mo uh, very likely that it's going to bounce back down so here we have um, a resistance line here this one it could actually be at the top of this that would be a, a resistance line here at the top of this uh, significant uh, peak here and then we have the number one Fibonacci line right at the same uh, right at the same level with this uh, significant resistance here so we would have our uh, target to take profit up there so if we enter it on this bounce here we set we entered here when it was bouncing on support and on moving average and then we sell we have our automatic sell up here at this uh, resistance line so we would make a 21% gain on this trade then uh, to identify the point of uh, entry and where it's going to be retracing to for that we use a Fibonacci retracement tool but I'm not going to go into that for this video because I said I don't want to go into a lot of detail for each one of these setups but basically a very basic overview is that uh, you buy on the impulse and sell before the retrace and for this you use uh, trend lines support and resistance lines moving averages and uh, Fibonacci tools if you want to learn more about this specific technique you can download my premium tutorial from uh, from uh, here at the link it's always a pin it as a pin it top comment on my videos so this one here high probability find high probability trades it goes into a lot of detail uh, for this specific trading setup so you can learn more about that on that premium video it's quite efficient this technique okay now then the next one we have is breakouts i love trading breakouts as well because it you avoid being being on a sideways movement uh for a long time is usually as soon as you buy it's gonna have an impulsive movement so you don't you don't have to wait days and days sometimes for the price to move that's what i like about this one a lot so basically you can uh, identify uh, breakouts on patterns when patterns break out for example triangles uh, head and shoulders there's different uh, trading patterns when they break out it's the moment to buy or to short if it's a bearish pattern and uh, also trend lines uh, sometimes when significant trend lines uh, break then you have an impulsive movement as well so here for example we have a pattern which is a rounded bottom we can see here that is a rounded uh, very clear rounded bottom which is exactly the same type of set of pattern as uh, as with the head sorry with the cup and handle they work exactly the same they are exactly the same uh, they are formed uh, by the same buyers and sellers psychology the only difference is that the, the rounded bottom just breaks at the first try and the, and the cup and cup and handle will need a second try before it actually breaks out but it does the same shape here the only thing is that it doesn't get to break the first in the first try and then it goes back down and it does another a smaller rounded bottom here and then it usually breaks on the second try or if not it's very common as well to have a cup and handle and handle so sometimes it needs three tries but in the end is the is the exact same pattern is the exact same buyer and, sell, and seller psychology behind it behind this pattern so uh, basically how this works is uh you have two points here on the upper side so we could draw here a resistance line okay from this point where the rounded bottom starts to this point where it finishes and is the point of the breakout so a little bit up here somewhere here okay so how how we find the target is by drawing a line from the highest point which is this one or this one it doesn't matter the highest point is up here to the lowest point which is down here okay and now we take this and put it right on the breakout 
and the target is the exact same vertical distance you know from <coughs> uh, from this uh, from this line here so our target is going to be up here and as we can see the target was reached exactly here so you would have entered he at the breakout here and you would have had your automatic cell up here and you would have made a a 41% uh, percent profit, a little bit more than that. So that would be a very nice trade. I love trading breakouts because it's usually a lot of money and very quick. So that's one breakout for a pattern, but if not, there's also trend lines uh, breakout. Uh, for example, uh, the Thomas the Mark trend lines is a way to identify breakouts as well, but it's not breakouts of patterns, it's breakout of trend lines. So there's a, I, I got a video in my channel, Thomas the Mark trend lines tuto, tutorial. I made a tutorial on this. Let's see if it appears here, the first one. Okay, so in my channel, I have this video. <clears throat> it teaches you how to identify uh, the breakouts using this technique. Now, this technique is to identify breakouts for shorting, so bearish breakouts, but you can, but you can use the exact same technique. Um, if you inverse the math, you, you can use the exact same math to find uh, breakouts on the upside as well. So Thomas the Mark trend lines. I have a, a free tutorial on my channel, but you can, of course, Google for other people teaching the same technique. And, uh, you know, it's not my technique. It's from Thomas the Mark. So you will find different tutorials on YouTube for this. Um, one of them, uh, by the way, there's this uh, crypto channel uh, called the Crypto Sniper. I'm sure everybody that watches my channel already knows about him but if you don't know uh it's called the crypto sniper and he uses a very very similar technique with uh with the thomas the mark i think for what i understand it's even more improved uh it's like it's like a very similar concept but i think he improved this technique uh, himself and he uh, he teaches this technique on his channel I mean you have to pay to learn it of course I think it's a little bit pricey but it's always worth it because you're the idea is that in the long run you're going to make that money back and more uh, and this is what I want to emphasize emphasize the importance of having a methodology a setup that you are a master of it you know it very well and you only use that same methodology every time it doesn't matter how many times you are wrong or how many times you know um it's not a winning trade because you know by probability in the long run you have a high probability uh rate of winning so it, this is a very very um efficient technique it's very very effective and it's very similar with the one that the crypto sniper teaches so uh yeah just uh just uh so you know one more resource if you want to learn it <clears throat> so that would be all for breakouts then we have uh moving averages so the setup for the moving averages i quite like it a lot as well but um there's basically two ways to trade moving averages one it would be when they cross with each other for example here we had a bullish cross and here we had a bearish a bearish cross so what you do is you buy on the bullish cross i'm gonna use this i'm gonna lock this tool so you would have bought here the price was at this level when it crossed and then you sell when it crosses bullish bang and you get out of here now you you stay away from this until the next bullish cross which was here the cross is here but the price is up here so you buy here where the price is and then you sell when you see a bearish cross which happened here okay but it was a fake uh, bearish cross because you see how quickly it went into a bullish cross again it doesn't matter it's fine you exit the, um, the position so you avoid the risk because this could have perfectly gone gone down massively from here actually if you look at the setup it was much more probable that the price would have tanked here it didn't happen as it doesn't happen every time you know um 
what is supposed to happen. There's nothing that's 100% uh, probability. And this turned out to be like a fake uh, cross here. It doesn't matter. You buy then when it crosses bullish again, the price is all the way up here. It's fine. You buy here and then you sell when it um, crosses bearish. The cross is here, but the price is all the way down here. It's fine. You do a trade that it's a break even. You don't lose or you don't uh, you don't lose or you don't win here. But what's important is that you're not losing. And here you missed out all these games here because you exited here when it was a fake uh, a fake bearish cross. But it doesn't matter because you avoid risk. You're not you're not losing money here. You know maybe you're missing out a little bit but what's important is that you're not losing you always have to be more concerned about losing than not missing out that's very very important another thing that many people cannot do so basically in this trade you made a 50 percent gain in this trade you made a 46 percent gain and in this trade you broke even if i keep going you will see that in most of the trades you win big and of course you miss out look you exited here when you could have exited at the top so you missed out in profits here it doesn't matter that's not trading it's not about that trading it's not about being in every single opportunity trading is about staying on the wins you know winning more than you lose it doesn't matter if you miss out here you missed out as well you know in half of these uh profits it doesn't matter what's important is that you are not losing you're not you're not messing you know messing up your trades you are sure that when you enter and when you exit you have winnings you don't have losses that's what's important so as you can see out of these three you didn't lose any and only one you broke even and the other two uh you you win big here so this is a very simple and effective technique to trade moving averages when they cross there's another channel by the way it's called i'm sure you already know but in case you don't know it's called bk uh crypto trader he's mentioned me uh on his channel a couple of times already so now i have the opportunity to mention him uh, he uses moving averages uh on his channel that's his uh, methodology uh, he buys and sells when the moving averages cross. Now he uses different moving averages. He uses different settings for the moving averages and he uses three different moving averages instead of two like I have here. But uh, the point is that's his methodology. That's where he um, specializes in. If you have a methodology and you always follow the methodology, you're going to win more than you lose, as you can see here. But most people fail to follow through and to don't break the rules. Even himself, sorry, Brandon, I have to say that his method works. I mean, if you follow that method, you're going to win more than you lose. Only bad thing is he broke his own rules sometimes, and that's why he, he lost a few trades sometimes. But it's just part of the game. I think it's more difficult to uh, be constant and never break your own rules. That's more difficult than actually learning the methodology, because as you can see here, the methodology, the methodology is very, very simple. But what's difficult what, what, in what most people fails is in being constant and never breaking the rule. So I think that's all. Check out his channel. Uh, his method works very well. Now, um, the next oh yeah and then there's another way to trade moving averages which is instead of trading instead of buying and selling when the moving averages cross with each other you buy and sell when the moving averages cross candles cross through candles for example here the blue line crossed uh, through a big uh, long green candle so that's a buy signal and up here it crosses through a long red candle here so that's a sell signal so you would if you would have bought here on this uh line and you sold here when it crosses you made 42 percent gain now you stay away from all this and here you have uh the blue line crossing a long green candle that's a buy so you buy here and then next time the line crosses here in this red candle so you don't make much here uh it, Assuming you did it perfect, it's almost a break even here. It's a little bit of gain, but it, let's call it a break even. So then the next time you would have bought here, 
uh, the blue line is kind of you know crossing uh, green candle here so here you buy and then you sell here when it cro when the line crosses a long red candle so you sell here so you made this gain and so on and so forth so but this one it's not as effective because you miss out a lot see you've missed out in all these uh, you've missed out in all you know it's not as effective I prefer to trade them to trade moving averages when they cross with each other than not when they cross candles but there you go that's another method to do it and then we have time analysis uh, I'm not gonna go a lot into that one but uh, there's a channel uh, on YouTube that specializes in this method. I'm going to show you the indicator for this is uh, called TD sequential. TD sequential. So you can uh, put this indicator up on your trading view and it's going to give you all these numbers. All right. So the idea is sell on the nines, sell on the on the nines when it touch the top you see all these numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine so you sell on the nine and you buy uh well on the deep it usually goes down uh between uh two and four between one and four candles down then you buy again there's a lot of math behind this i'm not an expert in this indicator i could go on a little bit more but i'm not uh, i prefer not to because it's really long but uh, at least i'm showing you how to set up this indicator and if you want to learn more about this methodology uh, the good thing about this methodology, the one thing I like, it's I don't find it very, very effective. It doesn't have that much uh, percentage of winning. It's not that effective, but it's very simple to use once you learn it. And uh, the, the thing that I like the most is that you use it alone. You don't need to look at any other indicator. You're not supposed to look at volume. You're not supposed to look at the RSI. You're not supposed to look at uh, trend lines, support and resistance. Uh, patterns you use nothing it's like w the one tool in your toolbox this it's supposed to be used alone which makes it very simple and to me that's very attractive but in the other hand I don't find it that effective you know it doesn't have that uh, big of a winning percentage but if you want to learn more about this check out tone tones base channel tone base uh, he uses this indicator a lot and he has a lot of uh, teaching for this indicator on his website and if you don't want to follow tone base then you just go on to on google and uh, search for td sequential indicator and you will find all the information on google td stands for thomas the mark so is the same the guy the same developer uh, for the Thomas the Mark trend lines, which I mentioned before for the breakout setup. So Thomas the Mark is a very smart guy. He teaches modern trading, which is very different from uh, from the classic school of trading, which is the one I belong the most. Like I, I belong to the classic school of trading, but I have to admit admit that this guy you know uh, this guy is very smart, and he's developed a few setups that work very well in the modern school of trading. Uh, the channel that I mentioned before, the Crypto Sniper, he also belongs to the modern school of trading. His methodology, it's not, it doesn't belong to the classic of school of trading. He doesn't use, he doesn't use uh, classic patterns or classic indicators. His method, um, uh, it belongs to the to the modern school of school of trading, which is very similar with what Thomas the Mark teaches as well just a point there so you know and now last the Elliott waves so again I don't find the Elliott waves that uh, effective uh, in terms of percentage of winning uh, the winning percentage is not as great but when you hit it you hit it good so basically actually I'm not going to go into this because I do have two tutorials already on my channel uh, for Elliott Waves. So if you go over to my channel and you type on the search box Elliott Waves, you will see I have two videos that teach the Elliott Waves principle. Uh, but I don't go into a lot of detail because again, I'm not a super expert in this, uh, in this methodology. I know it, I used it, I study it, but I'm not, I don't specialize in this. I don't find it as effective. And I want to clarify, there's a lot of misinformation on Elliott Waves uh, today days for 
for crypto trading. Uh, I see many people using Elliott Waves to trade cryptos. It's uh, they really, uh, I'm not saying all of them, and I'm, I don't want to mention names or anything, but be very careful because most of them don't use uh, math to count waves. They don't use Fibonacci lines to count waves. In other words, they will rationalize any wave into, a, in, into an Elliott wave. And it's not, this is not how it works. Elliott waves have to meet uh, specific requirements to be Elliott waves. Otherwise, they are only waves. Every market moves in waves. It doesn't mean every wave is an Elliott wave. So if you really want to learn this methodology, Elliott waves, there's a very well-known uh, person here. What was the name? She's the most. Uh, she's the the most well-known uh, Elliott wave analyst in the planet. Her name was Jody. Jody. Samuels, I think I can't remember. Jo Jody Samuels, yeah, Jody Samuels, Elliot Wave. So you search for this lady here. Uh, this is her. This is her. So there's a lot of webinars online on Google or uh, or YouTube. And uh, as I said, she is the most well-known uh, Elliot Wave analyst in the planet. She teaches Elliot, Elliot waves very, very well. You can learn how to count Elliot, wa Elliot waves using Fibonacci and, uh, and harmonics. And I would recommend you very much to learn Elliot waves from her, not from other, you know, crypto experts, as they call themselves. Uh, I would, uh, if, I, if you really want to uh, learn this methodology, I would recommend you learn from her and then go watch other crypto channels uh, and you will see how like it has nothing to do with it with anything so i think that's all i wanted to teach for this tutorial i hope it was clear guys uh, another thing before you actually uh, go ahead and trade there's a few rules that you should always follow no matter you know it that some rules that apply for any setup i have a, tu a free tutorial on my channel it's called uh, let's see I can't remember now the five most important rules I think it's called so if you go to my channel it appears here on popular uploads um, it's one of my first videos if not the first I think it's the first video I uploaded to my channel or one of the very first videos it's called trading tutorial five most important rules I know the sound it's not good and I'm a little bit shy talking to the to the microphone and all that because it was I think my first video four months ago so it's not like I do it very well but the rules apply for any trading setup I mean that's the five rules that sh you should never break uh, no matter which setup or which methodology you choose in trading it's a free video it's a 15 minutes tutorial I think it's important before you actually think about starting to trade Guys, I think that's all the resources that I have for you today. I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.